Richard Corrigan has made an early start and is already hard at work half an hour before Paul Rankin strolls in. I can't believe he's in here at all, right? Oh, too many things, Paul. I should have made it easier. Sly dog. You fall. Both Richard and Paul have each devised and perfected their own four-course menu. And, of course, each of them thinks theirs is the best. Well, their fate's going to be decided by an expert panel of three judges. As a top-flight professional restaurant critic, Matthew Fort's opinion is respected by chefs throughout the land. Next up is Prue Leith. With over 30 years' experience in the restaurant business, she has an encyclopedic knowledge of British cooking. The third member of our judging panel is Oliver Payton, who opened his first restaurant in his 20s and has been rocking the establishment ever since. He's just opened his sixth restaurant in Trafalgar Square. Now, the judge's job this evening is to decide who wins and who loses. But this is not a personality contest. And to ensure that, we've made the judges taste all the food blind. In other words, they don't know who's cooked what dish. They don't even know how the dishes go together to form either of the chef's complete menus. All that's going to be revealed when the judges come face to face with the chefs for the first time later this evening and deliver their verdict on who wins and who loses. Keen to follow their brief showcasing local, seasonal ingredients, the judges are discussing what they anticipate from Northern Ireland. I would expect to see um, salmon, certainly, and I would expect to see um, mature lamb, you know, hogget, I mean, mutton, really. Okay. I'd beef? expect to see beef. I mean, you know, you need to see beef, don't you, really? I mean, there's some fabulous so. irony. Well, what particular vegetables would Peas. you say? Cabbage. Potatoes? Cabbage. 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 Potatoes. And all those things will appear, except one. Now, Richard and Paul have spent the week creating the four dishes they've each chosen for the competition and which they hope will be served to the Queen on her birthday. On Monday, they were quite civilised about each other's starters. It's very good. It's annoyingly good. It's a good to very good starter. I would expect really nothing else from them. By the fish course on Tuesday, the gloves were off. I suppose what I'm questioning is the appropriateness of the oysters and the seaweed for this occasion. I think when, when the trout maybe hits the table for 200, 300 people, it could be, could be dry. That's all I would say. Come Wednesday's main course, it was open warfare. For me, it's a bit too avant-garde to be serving to the Queen on her 80th birthday. I think it could be his downfall. He's maybe gone too quirky. A bit too much going on for me. To do this for 300 is impossible. But yesterday had an unexpected outcome. It's always a lovely thing, ice cream and fruit, to finish with. I just think mine's perhaps a little bit more interesting. I think the judge would like this one. I'm worried. Deeply worried.